Good morning, everyone. This is His Word On. Let's get right into God's Word. So today we're going to be reading Numbers chapter 15. As a recap of chapter 14, we have the people rebel. And they were getting scared because of the men of tall stature, the Malachites and all that stuff, right? The Hittites and all these guys. And they were wanting to go back to Egypt. And they tried to set up a captain. That didn't go so well. And then God talks to Moses and says that people, or the people that were 20 and older, especially the people that were complaining, <laughs> right, that they would be in the wilderness or die in the wilderness and not be able to go to the land. Only Caleb and Joshua, the two who were willing and ready to go, you know, fight these guys and stuff, they are able to go into the land and all that. But anyways, that's the end. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come into the land of your habitations, which I give unto you, and I will make an offering by fire unto the Lord, a burn offering, or a sacrifice, in performing a vow, or in free will offering, or in your solemn feast, to make a sweet savor unto the Lord, of the herd, or of the flock. Then shall he that offereth his offering unto the Lord, bring a meat offering, of a tenth deal of flour, mingled with the fourth part of a hint of oil, and the fourth part of a hint of wine, for a drink offering, shalt thou prepare with a burnt offering, or a sacrifice for one lamb, or for a ram, that shall prepare for a meat offering two tenths deals of flour mingled with the third part of a hen of oil, and for a drink offering, thou shalt offer the third part of the hen of wine for a sweet savour unto the Lord. And when thou preparest a bullock for a burnt offering, or for a sacrifice, and performing a vow, or peace offerings unto the Lord, then shall he bring with a bullock a meat offering of three tenth deals of flour mingled with a half and hen of oil. And thou shalt bring for a drink offering half a hen of wine, for an offering made by fire of sweet savour unto the Lord. Thus shall it be done for one bullock or one ram or for a lamb or a kid. According to the number that ye shall prepare, so shall ye do to every one according to their number. All that are born of the country shall do these things after this manner, an offering, an offering made by fire, of a sweet savour unto the Lord. And if a stranger sojourn with you, or whosoever be among you in your generations, and will offer an offering made by fire, of a sweet savour unto the Lord, as ye do, so he shall do. One ordinance shall be both for you of the congregation, and also for the stranger that sojourneth with you, an ordinance for ever in your generations, as ye are, so shall the stranger be before the Lord. One law and one manner shall be for you, and for the stranger that sojourneth with you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land whither I bring you, then it shall be, that when ye eat of the bread of the land, ye shall offer up a heave offering unto the Lord. Ye shall offer up a cake of the first of your dough for a heave offering, as ye do the heave offerings of the threshing floor, so shall ye heave it. Of the first of your dough ye shall give it unto the Lord, and a heave offering in your generations. And if ye have erred, and not observed all these, things, or all these commandments which the Lord has spoken unto Moses, even all that the Lord hath commanded you by the hand of Moses, from the day that the Lord commanded Moses, and hence or henceforward among your generations, then it shall be 
if aught be committed by ignorance without the knowledge of the congregation, that all the congregation shall offer one young bullock for a burnt offering, for a sweet savour unto the Lord, with his meat offering and his drink offering, according to the banner, and one kid of the goats for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for all the congregation of the children of Israel, and it shall be forgiven them, for it is ignorance, and they shall bring their offering, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord, and their sin offering before the Lord, for their ignorance. And it shall be forgiven all the congregation of the children of Israel, and the stranger that sojourneth among them, seeing all the people were in ignorance. And if any soul sin through ignorance, then he shall bring a she-goat of the first year for a sin offering. And the priest shall make an atonement for the soul that sinneth in er ignorantly. And when, this, or when he sinneth by ignorance before the Lord, to make an atonement for him, and it shall be forgiven him. Ye shall have one law for him that sinneth through ignorance, both for him that is born among the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them. But the soul that doeth aught presumptuously, whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same reproacheth the Lord, and that soul shall be cut off from among his people. Because he hath despised the word of the Lord, and hath broken his commandment, that soul shall utterly be cut off, his iniquity shall be upon him. And while the children of Israel were in the wilderness, they found a man that gathered sticks upon the Sabbath day. And they that found him gathering sticks brought him unto Moses and Aaron, and unto the, all the congregations. And they put him inward, because it was not declared what should be done to him. And the Lord said unto Moses, The man shall be surely put to death. All the congregation shall stone him with stones without the camp. And all the congregation brought him without the camp, and stoned him with stones, and he died, as the Lord commanded Moses. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations, and that they put up upon the fringe of the borders a riband of blue. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it, and remember all the commandments of the Lord, and do them, and that ye seek not after your own heart and your own eyes, after which ye use to go a whoring. That ye may remember and do all my commandments, and be holy unto your God. I am the Lord your God, which brought you out of the land of Egypt, to be your God. I am the Lord your God. And that is the end of Numbers chapter 15. As a summary of chapter 15, we have the laws for the land of Canaan, when they go there, right? And when they make a burnt offering, they are to bring a drink offering and a meat offering, which is basically a food offering, right? And like I said, this is like an appeasement meal process, right? It's basically what these sacrifices are, right? And God goes, you know, is this the savory smell that I want, right? Which is Jesus, right? The perfect one, the perfect Lamb of God, right? The, and, of course, he's not actually going to eat him, you know, or eat this stuff. But it's basically an appeasement meal, like you would if you screwed up with your wife, you know, or a husband, right? But anyways, and, of course, they would, you know, offer up the cakes and all this stuff, right? This is a food offering with a burnt offering. And they would have a drink, you know, with wine. But anyways, we also have the, you know, the law of the sojourner, which we learn here, the same laws that Israel has is also for the sojourner that wants to follow his ways. Right? And that's what we get here. There's not different law for the Israelites and a different law. No, you know, no, it's the same laws, right? The same commandments. And then we learn about this guy who was gathering sticks on the Sabbath day. It seems harsh, but the guy knew he wasn't supposed to be doing any work, right? He was supposed to do that before. So, what are the, you know, laws of breaking his ways? Death, right? 
for the penalty of sin is death or for the wages of sin is death right Jesus came and took that penalty right which was death because he died on the cross and now he's offered up to the Lord right like a heave offering and a burn offering and all that stuff he's the perfect one right that God was looking for but anyways real quick I also forgot that uh, the people who sin ignorantly you know they just didn't know about what they were doing they would get told what, you know what they did and then they would have to go to the priest and do the process right and offer up a burnt offering and a meal offering and all this stuff right but anyways I hope you guys were edified and you guys have a wonderful day